everybody, welcome to MNB World Talk Show's brand new episode. Today we have invited a very strong and intelligent lady who has majored in three fields. Well, she is a journalist, translator, and also a psychologist. This beautiful lady sitting beside me is Miss Bayirma Inbish. Well, hello. Hello, thank you for inviting me. Thank you for receiving our invitation. So let's start our question directly. Mm -hmm. So you are a journalist and a translator in Korean and English language. That's right. But after, after these majors, you have decided to become a psychologist. Why did you choose psychology? I think there was three main reasons. Three main reasons, okay. Yes, that's right. The first one was the book I read in my childhood. Mm -hmm. That book changed my mind and heart mm -hmm. so deeply. So I, am interest, so I was interested in how can I change people's mind and how can I influence other people's heart? Mm -hmm. And how can I mm -hmm. to help other people to develop themselves and understand their mind and heart and psychology? So I really, I was really interested in and fall in love with psychology from my childhood. From from the childhood times, okay. But mm -hmm. I couldn't choose at first this mm -hmm. measure mm -hmm. because my parents said you should be journalist. And oh, that happens in <laughs> Mongolia, doesn't it? Like, I mean, my parents wanted me to become a <laughs> businessman, like when I was younger. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, second one is my brother's death. Uh, okay. Uh, my brother's death was the most shocking thing in my life, during my life. Mm -hmm. Because he suffers, uh, he was suffering from mental illness for 20 years. For 20 years? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. that was. Uh, was he your older brother or younger brother? My older brother. I am the youngest one in my family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel shakiness <laughs> uh -huh. when I speak about my brother's death uh -huh. Uh -huh. because it was the hardest and horrible experience mm -hmm. I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. mm. So because he was suffering from a mental illness, yes. you decided you wanted to mm -hmm. make an impact mm -hmm. through your study, through the psychology study. Yes, sometimes I think that if my brother were born in a highly developed country, uh -huh. he would have lived for a long time without any suffering from mental illness. What I mean is, at okay. uh, that time, uh -huh. Mongolian mental health organization uh -huh. hadn't developed yet. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. So he suffered and he maybe he was victim of social mm. transition. Social transition, okay. You said three major reasons. So yeah. what's the third one? Third one is I experienced a depression for a long time, personally. You, yes. yourself, okay. Yes. Uh, because of uh, long time illness and my brother's death influenced mm -hmm. me so much and I depressed out. Mm -hmm. But some people think and confuse depression with sadness. Depression is not sadness. I think so too. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay, what's Many the difference? Tell so. me. <laughs> because some people, I mean, some people say, oh, I'm so depressed. And, mm -hmm. and okay, why don't you just, you know, think of positive things, you know, I mean, force yourself, go mm -hmm. outside, mm -hmm. outside to the nature, etc. I, I tell these kind of things to people. And mm -hmm. uh, I mean, to me, Maybe mm -hmm. too so many people, yes. depression and sadness are the same That's thing. That's right. Okay, okay, so, so what's the difference? Uh, depression is a mental illness. It is a sickness, like cold, like heart disease. We should take mm -hmm. medication to treat depression in deep level. Sadness is just feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, the incident that makes you depressed go out, mm -hmm. but depression is no Depression isn't disappear. Today's talk show is all about you, mm -hmm. your story. Mm -hmm. So can you tell with our audience some best of your childhood memories? Father was a person who always read book. Uh -huh. So I didn't have any friends and hobbies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just read book in my childhood. 
-hmm. so, so that was the good memory. So I like to say, book is my not hobby. Book is my life. Because book is my entire life, the meaning of my life. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you are, I mean, uh, they say the book is a window to see the world. Mm. And you have lots of windows <laughs> <laughs> to see different kind of worlds. <laughs> I mean, okay, um, that's very exciting. I, I like that answer, actually. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as a tradition, we show your resume and CV and with photos to our audience. So, mm -hmm. let's take a look at who she is. Who is Bayirma Inbish? Is on papers and photos. Wow, so your CV is quite academic, looks quite academic to me, and uh, beautiful photos. Uh, anyways, you have written, you have worked on 12 psychological books, and uh, this is the last book you've Yes, this is the last worked. one. Mm -hmm. uh, you can call it, you can understand it in English, The Psychological Secret Method to Be Confident. To be, co to be confident. To become confident. Okay, be what confident. are the secrets? Can you reveal like two, three secrets <laughs> <laughs> to our audience? <laughs> Come on, there are some people, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And why did you decide to write this book? The, my, my main focus is to write how. Many writers write mm -hmm. mm, what. Okay. What, but my focus is, is how. how. How to change myself. Uh -huh. What is the method? Mm -hmm. have to change my inferiority to superiority. Okay. So can you reveal some of the secrets? Yes. If you read, you can understand. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Oh, come on. Just, just okay. for the sake of it, I mean, just tell us one trick. Mm -hmm. For example, what can, what, what's the first step to become mm -hmm. superior mm -hmm. from ah. inferior? At the first place, you should understand your inferiority complex. Complex? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where I feel inferiority. Uh -huh. When I feel inferiority. Mm -hmm. Where? This is when? the first step mm -hmm. to fix it. Where and why? Mm -hmm. When? How do you think about psychology sector in Mongolia? Mm -hmm. Mongolia's face as of today. I mean, where we are compared to other countries. Mm -hmm. We are just at starting point, I think. <gasps> really? Yes, because Why? in Mongolia, mm -hmm. our psychological knowledge is just at theoretical level. Theoretical, theoretical okay. level, yes. Uh, we need more practical method mm -hmm. and experience. Our psychologists, our psychology students who study in Mongolia, mm -hmm. always take knowledge, just knowledge, theory, but not practice. We should. Mm -hmm. Distinguish the difference between psychologist, psych, uh, psychotherapist, and psychiatrist. Okay, there are three different things. <laughs> okay, now you have to you have to tell me the differences. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so psychologist, psychotherapist, and psychiatrist. Then psychiatrist. Who is a doctor? Mm. And psychiatrist is the doctor. Yes, psychologist is a specialist uh -huh. who can counsel, just counsel. Okay. He or she works in our conscious level. Uh -huh. A psychotherapy can influence our subconscious mind. Uh -huh. This is a different measure, uh -huh. and different. They use different uh, method. Okay. Psychiatrist is a doctor who can pres pre pre prescribe pre <laughs> prescribe yes. medicines. Medicine, yes. Mm -hmm. So we are just starting level. And uh, how many psychologists are there in Mongolia? Do you know the numbers? I mean, what you guys are doing to develop this sector? Mm -hmm. I don't know how, ma how many psychologists mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. there, but maybe they are countless. But many few people know psychotherapy. Okay. In my opinion, mm -hmm. we should adapt mm -hmm. psychotherapy not psychology, not theory, mm -hmm. we need practice. Uh -huh. 
Um, I mean, uh, I have one more question. Uh, you said that we should translate, like, mm. uh, translate books or translate academic Especially information. Especially the psychotherapy method, Methods, not theory, yes. just method. Mm -hmm. But translating psychotherapy, psychoanalysis, uh, these kind of different books mm -hmm. from Western world, mm -hmm. can it mm -hmm. fit to Mongolian psychology? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. we have different cultures, mm -hmm. that's why, because of our cultural origin, we mm -hmm. have different thoughts and, and, and different life views, right? <laughs> Good question. Okay, so can, can, can you tell us about it? Mm -hmm. uh, some kind of works don't fit in our country, yeah. in our society. We have nomadic lifestyle okay. and thinking, okay. right? But, however, okay, however, we human beings are the same. Uh -huh. We have a brain, our brain works, don't work differently. We have a chemical to, we need chemical to be happy, such as serotonin, dopamine. Serotonin. Yeah, dopamine. Dopamine. Yes. Uh, we have uh, adrenaline, cortisol when we're stressed. Uh -huh. the, our body reaction and our body is uh -huh. not different. Okay. <laughs> we are uh, biologically not different. Yes. So you also uh, teaches to students, mm -hmm. right, and uh, about psychology. So we, as you know, we have taken a short video mm -hmm. uh, for our audience. So let's take a look at that. Lecturing is a part of my everyday work, so as a psychologist, sometimes I have workshops to organizations and some organizations invite me to, in order to make the organizational behavior make better. Today I have a workshop in Mongolian National Government's Academy. Maybe you can call it Government Academy of Management, you can call it. So the teachers of National Academy of Governments are so intelligent, so I really worked hard to make this organizational workshop. Most people come to me to decide the internal issues such as divorcing problems and unconfident state. So I really work hard to overcome their obstacles and especially it is very essential for them to understand their inner world Without understanding the inner world, it is difficult to change the attitude and conversation and communication with others. So the part of my job is to make people understand their selves and decide the issues in their lives. Nowadays, I have five clients who are concentrating to decide their inner conflict such as not understanding themselves and can't, can't be independent and can't be confident. Uh, the course will, course will stand for 25 meetings. We should meet 25 at least to decide the issue. Wow, so you are spreading knowledge about psychology and you are, uh, that's cool, you are a teacher. And so because we are touching academics, I want to, uh, I want to ask more questions about depression. Mm -hmm. Let's say there's a, there's a, and we talked about symptoms of depression. There might be people who are depressed and they don't know, right? Mm -hmm. So you told about the depressions, but what is the best treatment? Mm -hmm. Is it medication? Is it, is it yoga? Is, I mean... What? Mm -hmm. You should first know. You should know first mm -hmm. what kind of depression I have. 
is it mild or severe? Okay. If depression is mild, you can just take, uh, you can see just psychologist or psychotherapist. And you can go through psychotherapy and talking therapy and counseling. Mm -hmm. But in severe depression, we, our brain can't change without medication. So if your depression is severe, you should, should, no, you must go to see a doctor, psychiatrist, mm -hmm. and take a medication. Mm -hmm. There are many kinds of medication in Mongolia. Mm, this kind of medication can improve your mood, mm -hmm. increasing your serotonin and dopamine and noradrenaline, the, uh, the chemicals mm -hmm. that you need to be happy and live normally. Mm -hmm. So, okay, medication. Is yes. there any other natural way? Because I, I, I'm a kind of person that I prefer mm -hmm. herbal, or mm -hmm. herbal uh, treatment or, or physical treatment or some, some kind of natural thing. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not a big fan of medication. So mm -hmm. in that case, is there any mm -hmm. varieties or options? Sunlight and movement and... Uh, exercising and dancing, they are all good things for depression. Mm -hmm. But your depression is severe and so deeply, mm -hmm. they can't help. Mm -hmm. um, when we have cold, mm -hmm. we take medication, right? Yeah. So depression is the same thing. Some mm -hmm. people think depression is just psychological thing. It's not, it's biological thing. There is something wrong in our brain, so we... Biologically, should, like, yes. like biologically. Biological. Okay. Chemically, something is wrong with brain. Yes. Ah, maybe you, you cannot produce mm -hmm. that, that chemicals again or something like that. Huh? But uh, my depression can change by nature and sunlight and psychotherapy. Mm. Mild, if it's mild. Mild ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, okay. If I didn't have depression, I wouldn't have known about the medication and maybe don't take medication. But mm -hmm. I, now, I don't say don't take medication. I don't say that. You don't say that. Uh -huh. So, okay, you had a depression. You had. Yes, for two years. For two years. How? I didn't know I depressed at first time. Yeah, I mean, who would know? Yes, I was just feeling horrible mm -hmm. emptiness in my heart mm -hmm. and want to suicide. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why. I really mm -hmm. wanted to live normally. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Then one day I searched in the internet. I don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this, is, this was the symptom of depression. Then ah. I understood I had depression. Ah. And then I searched for what should I do now. Uh -huh. The search result was go to psychiatrist, psychologist mm -hmm. and take medication. Mm -hmm. uh, because of my brother's mental illness, mm -hmm. my family think that medication is a bad thing for mental health. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so that's, you, that's usually what uh, most yes, of the people think. Yes. I mean. So people, uh, my family tell me that don't go to psychiatrist and don't go to mental health institution. Mm -hmm. But after I studying and searching for my symptoms and learning about depression, I understood Ah, uh, this is not a psychological thing. I can change it my, just my conscious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need treatment. Something wrong, something wrong in my brain, chemically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So did you have any doctor by then? Yes, I have a doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really want to express my gratitude for my doctor, mm -hmm. Munch. Munch, yes. Munch doctor. Oh. Now, now, now let's put the psychology, <laughs> depression, I mean, we've talked enough. Now let's talk about your hobby. Mm -hmm. So uh, as it's written, you write poems, you, you like to dance and collecting, collecting books. So how do you spend your free time these days? Mm -hmm. Before I get in sick, mm -hmm. I, I had so many hobbies, dancing, swimming, mm -hmm. and writing poems. Okay. But after I depressed and uh, feeling sick for a long time. Mm -hmm. My hobbies are fewer, be becoming fewer and fewer. Mm -hmm. But still, there's a hobby, right? <laughs> I mean, we are talking here. I mean, <laughs> okay. Nowadays, I think my hobby is helping other people to understand uh -huh. themselves, mm -hmm. their mind, their heart, and improve their selves. Mm -hmm. 
to talking to people is your hobby now. Yes. Helping people. In psychological level. In, psych in deeply level, not in the surface. Yeah, not in the surface. Okay. okay. How about poem? Poem? Yeah. Do you write <laughs> I, poems? I, I'm writing poems still. Still? Uh -huh. Can you read one to our audience? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> so uh, about about dancing, so what kind you of You can dance? go searching in my Facebook. Mm -hmm. There are so many poems. So I many wrote. poems. Okay. Mm. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll take a look at that. And uh, uh, is it okay if we put some uh, mm, to okay. our show? Okay. Okay. Well, uh, you also collect books. I mean, you said it as a status mm -hmm. that book is my life, right? Mm -hmm. You said. So uh, let's take a look at her book collection. I really love to collect books because my father was the most influenced pe person in my life. He was a reader and he was a writer and journalist. These books are my collected books. Uh, this is just part of my collection. And half of my collection is in my camp house. These are about self-development and these are related to psychological issue. These books are written in English and I read all of them and these are Korean books. I really want to introduce these two books because these books influenced me the most. This is a Korean book and you can understand it, you can call it Emotion is Habit. How habits influence our emotion? So I've used this book to write my last book. And, and this one is a Brian Tracy book, Flight Plan, How to Be uh, Successful. This is the first book I will read in English and the most influential one for me. Nowadays, I am focusing on research, so I don't use, I don't just read books. I use books in my research and in my new books. In order to write this book, I will use it 30 books. This is a used books list from English. I use English book and Korean psychological books to write one book. My main goal nowadays is to translate this book and contribute my own contribution in psychological development, especially in practical way. How to use this theory in real life. have as, as people we all have our challenges in our time so when was the most challenging time of your life how did you overcame it mm -hmm. and what did you learn from it I mean from all these challenges and you know going over it fighting through it we always learn something right mm -hmm. so what was yours the time I heard that Mm -hmm. I had a pituitary microadenoma, uh, some kind of little cancer okay. in my brain. You have, you have a cancer in your brain? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, because of pituitary microadenoma and undiagnosed some illness, mm -hmm. I was in bed without unable to stand up for two years. Okay. In bed. In bed, wow, <laughs> yes. okay. That time I was thinking about life in my bed. Mm -hmm. I couldn't live like my peer friends mm -hmm. and I don't go out. I don't, I didn't meet a, any, someone. Mm -hmm. So that was the loneliest and hardest time in my life. Mm -hmm. 
if I didn't had this kind of experience, mm -hmm. maybe I wouldn't have had ability to understand other people. That illness was my biggest teacher for me mm -hmm. to understand and to have ability to be empathic, empathetic and mm -hmm. sympathetic. Mm -hmm. Empathetic and sympathy. sympathy. Empathy and sympathy. Sympathy for others. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's, oh, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. So by the time you were not allowed to stand up or you couldn't? I couldn't. You couldn't? Sometimes I couldn't get a uh, shower by uh -huh. myself uh -huh. and my sister helped me, used to help me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For two years? Yes. Wow. And you, you overcame but it. But the difficult you... thing was, uh -huh. doctors couldn't diagnose my illness. Even I, can't, I couldn't live normally like other people, mm -hmm. there wasn't any diagnosis. Mm. So Every blood tests are good and healthy. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. And then, then you couldn't move yeah. and you couldn't stand up. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you stood up. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> now you're walking, you're even giving interviews. Talking. Out. <laughs> you're talking with me in English. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so, wow. So this experience, whole experience taught you to listen to other people mm -hmm. understand and try to without understand without judging them without judging them that's very important isn't it yes i mean judgment creates discrimination discrimination <laughs> creates barriers and boundaries with uh, mm -hmm. with us with people mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. well my last question it's about future what kind of future do you want for yourself mm -hmm. and what kind of do future do you want for mongolia Mm -hmm. as a citizen of Mongolia? This is a traditional question and I want some details. Uh, personally, mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. I want to invest my own uh, contribution mm -hmm. to development of psychological field. Okay. But uh, if I'm alone, by mm -hmm. myself, mm -hmm. I am nothing. When we're together, we can mm -hmm. change. Mm -hmm. uh, even though I have so knowledge, have so many knowledge mm -hmm. and learned mm -hmm. by myself I can't do anything and I can't change the society fully mm -hmm. <laughs> so psychologists should must united must be united okay so Extreme future for ideas. Mongolia personally I am not really interested in material things okay so I don't uh, um, uh, it's would be better if our country developed for materially but I want to talk about it, talk about here mm -hmm. is mind development. Okay. Many people should read book mm -hmm. and help each other mm -hmm. instead of inviting each other. Mm -hmm. And I want change in people's mind and heart, not in material things. Mm -hmm. So mentally or spiritually? Yes, spiritually. Spiritually. Uh, we need to change. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> that's good. I mean, that's good. I mean, we uh, mostly talk uh, talk about like economic change. Mm. Let's get rich. Let's Quality get, change. Yeah, these are all materialistic qualities, and uh, you want spiritual and mental development mm. for Mongolia. Is that it? All right. Well, thank you very much. It's been very interesting because I'm very interested in psychology. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we have limited time and uh, mm -hmm. I wish you good health and good luck as Mongolians do for your future endeavors. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been uh, Miss Bayrma Inbish. She's a translator, journalist and psychologist who has done uh, so many books on psychology and self-development. I hope you had a good time watching our conversation we will have next episode next week until then goodbye